40 years can seem to be a long time. In January 1973, Richard Nixon was inaugurated as American president for his second term, a term to be aborted 20 months later by the Watergate scandal. In January 1973, Jack Lynch was Taoiseach, but in a general election shortly, Liam Cosgrove <coughs> took over in his place. On the 1st of January 1973, Ireland entered the European Economic Community, uh, soon to have its name changed to the European Community and now the European Union. It was a very important step in our development as a nation. And just a month later, on the 2nd of February uh, 1973, the Irish bishops, under the leadership of Cardinal Bill Conway, launched Throkera as a new development agency based on Catholic social teaching and with Bishop Eamon Casey as its first chairman and Mr Brian McKeown of Belfast as its first director. The foundation document uh, of uh, February 73 gave Throkera a twofold aim. One, abroad it will give whatever help lies within its resources to areas of greatest need among the developing countries. And two, at home, it will try to make us all more aware of the needs of these countries and of our duties to them. There was a clear link uh, to our recent admission to the EEC. This link was not for what we could gain from our admission, but from what we might be able to give and to do. Quote, we have recently joined the European Economic Community. Our standard of living, already high, is expected to rise still higher. As members of the world's most powerful trading group, we will have an opportunity to help the needy nations in a manner and on a scale never within our power before. In the world as a whole, unquote by the way, in the world as a whole, many people were aware of the shortcomings of the existing structures for aid to poorer nations. The Irish bishops remind us that, quote, the United Nations has set an annual target for official development assistance. This target amounts to seven-tenths of one percent of the gross national product of each developed country. In other words, each country should be giving seven pounds out of every thousand pounds of its annual income. Ireland's official development assistance does not even reach 70 pence out of every thousand pounds, unquote. These were some of the issues prominent in the minds of the Irish bishops 40 years ago. However, Throker was not to be just another agency. It had a broader perspective in that it was to be based on the social teaching of the Catholic Church. Quote, we in Ireland who are followers of Jesus Christ must continually try to shape our lives by his teaching. He taught us to love one another, to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to care for the sick. He said, as long as you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. And now, 40 years later, we can look back and see that there has been a good deal of success, but yet some areas still needing attention. There's a much greater awareness now of the problems facing people in the developing world. Throker's campaigns, while at times offending some sensibilities, and rightly so, have helped to alert Irish people and Irish governments to justice issues in the developing world. We played a small but important part in the ending of apartheid in South Africa. And you can see we were supporters of uh, the Dunn Store strikers. You can see them there, uh, I think, 1985. Nelson Mandela personally thanked Throker for its involvement in that campaign. 
We've been prominent in campaigns for the elimination of anti-personnel landmines and cluster bombs, for climate justice, for victims of AIDS, and most recently, people will remember us uh, for our campaign for the non-purchase of goods from illegal Israeli settlements on the West Bank. We have been active in Chile, Nicaragua, and El Salvador in the defense of human rights. Bishop Eamon Casey attended the funeral of the assassinated Archbishop Romero and came under attack himself when soldiers opened fire on the mourners. With constant reminders from Trocra and other bodies, such as Social Justice Ireland, Irish Overseas Development Aid has risen from the miserly 70 pence per thousand pounds to five euro per thousand euro. And we will continue to kick up a fuss and make noises until it reaches the official target of seven euro per thousand. We played a major role in famine relief in Ethiopia in the 1980s, in Somalia in the 1990s, and we provided support for the survivors of the Rwandan genocide in 1994. And 10 years later, we were the major Irish agency in response to the tsunami in Sri Lanka and other Asian countries. Troker's mode of operation in all of these situations has been in partnership. It has never seen itself as a superior wealthy agency giving gifts and handouts to the poor. Indeed, <clears throat> I have always translated the word Throker into English as compassion rather than mercy. For me, mercy implies uh, an upper and a lower, a power and a lack of power, whereas compassion can exist between equals. And we have always dealt with those with whom we work in that framework so that the word Throker is genuinely a word of compassion. We've always had a strong emphasis on respect for those with whom we work. People want to have control over their own lives and decisions affecting them. And we continue to promote our vision of a just and a peaceful world where people's dignity is ensured and rights respected. There is indeed much of which we can be proud. But there are goals still to be achieved. While there is a greater awareness of issues of injustice and neg negligence in the developing world, there is sadly a feeling of, well, that's their problem. Some might call this donor fatigue. I prefer to call it complacent self-indulgence. Some <clears throat> serious corruption and dictators siphoning off scarce resources for themselves and their families and friends continues to be a problem. The arms trade in the Western world thrives because poor countries are encouraged by the developing world to spend their money on weapons <clears throat> instead of on food, health and education. The debt burden on many countries is a massive disincentive to development, and we are learning that here in Ireland. Trade rules favour the rich, and tariff barriers and export subsidies ensure that rich countries will continue to thrive, often at the expense of poorer neighbours. These issues will continue to prevent justice for the developing world. The prophet Isaiah used words that have become very much a mantra for Trocra. Quote, Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor into your house, and when you see the naked, to cover them? and not to hide yourself from your own kin. 
I have always been impressed by these words. Isaiah identifies poverty as essentially an injustice and a form of imprisonment or slavery. He lists the main needs in this order, food, shelter, and clothing. And he justifies his forceful language by reference to one's own kin. The words of Isaiah are as relevant today as they were 2,700 years ago when first written. And they're as clear today as they were then. Food, shelter, and clothing are still the first three requirements immediately following an emergency in the developing world. And, as I said, the insight that he had at that time is still something that opens our eyes today. I say his words were taken by Christ as the basis for his famous parable of the Last Judgment. And he made them even more relevant by personalizing them. Instead of just shelter the homeless poor, it was, I was hungry, I was naked, uh, I was in prison, and so on. And you, you, you did this, that, and the other. Truly, I tell you, as long as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. There was a personalizing of the issues rather than just dealing with them as global problems. And I hope and I pray that Throkra will never forget that it is not just dealing with global problems, but with people needing a helping hand. Karamagov.